and welcome to another exciting episode of Orc Rogues, where we bring to you everything nerdy, geeky, and just plain fun. My name is Thomas. And my name is Derek. And this is the first of our specified, yeah, that's right, yeah. uh, <laughs> series on the Orville, specifically for the Orville. We're going to be doing this every time a new episode is released, talking about the show, what it was about, what our thoughts were on it, and just having a good time with all of you. And of course, as always, we'd love to hear a great discussion down below in the comments. So, this most recent... Words are hard. Uh, this most recent episode, what are your thoughts? I, I, you know, I liked it. I, I, I haven't really not liked an Orville, honestly, since uh, since the first one. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. I, I say that over and over again. It wasn't bad. It was just less than good. Uh, for a pilot. I'm going to say for a pilot, it was good. We'll go with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, so far, I mean, they, they, he just keeps knocking them out of the park. This one, I, it was interesting. Um, I mean, the, the concept is, is not unique. But it's still, I thought he, I thought he handled it really pretty well. It had mm -hmm. some funny moments, had some very serious moments, had some interesting uh, thoughts on current society, I think, or culture rather, um, both. Yeah. And um, yeah, incidentally, like you said, that there was an uh, an episode of Doctor Who, uh, which I I don't recall that that was kind of similar. No, it was um I believe it was from the last season of Doctor Who. That's why. Okay. Um it was in fact it was because Bill was in it okay. and that was the last companion. Um yeah, it was and, and granted the idea what they were portraying wasn't the same. Okay. But it had a very similar feel to it. Uh, because there were these little robots on this planet with no humans. It was just the robots. Oh, okay. And they yeah, communicated through emoticons or emojis. Um, Interesting, okay. And if they got the feeling from you that you were unhappy, there wasn't supposed to be unhappiness on the planet. So they killed you and turned you into fertilizer. Wow. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. That's, yep. uh, yeah, that's pretty brutal. Um, what it reminded me of actually was an episode of a show called Black Mirror. Um, the episode, I don't remember which number it was. I remember the title though. The title was called Nosedive. And, uh, it was a society based on likes and dislikes, uh, from, from a social media standpoint. And it actually followed this, uh, lady, the, that, uh, the, that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to up her popularity. Mm -hmm. And you know, and get better. And she got invited to a to be a bridesmaid at her childhood friend's or maid of honor. I think it was maid of honor at her childhood friend's wedding, who was very popular. So she was like really excited because she was going to get all these likes, and people were going to like. I mean, it was the same kind of thing. Like you go into a store, and it's based on your likes and dislikes. You know, your your credits almost uh -huh. kind of thing it was all based on everything like that. And so she starts going, but she has this, like, one little mistake after another, and her popularity just just flies downward, and she's not able to buy stuff, she's not able to do anything like that, that's why it's called Nosedive. But, you know, it's just this this spiral down in, in the popularity kind of thing. And, yeah. I mean, it, it was pretty much, I mean, like, the, the storyline wasn't... Um, identical to what we, what we saw here mm -hmm. in the Orville, but the concept was... I identical. I mean, like, yeah. absolutely identical. And, and, you know, it is certainly not going to be considered an original concept no, no, no. because the internet. Yeah. Uh, it's everywhere. It's on, to a degree, it's on Facebook, <clears throat> yeah. Twitter, Instagram. Reddit uses that system very well. Yeah. Um, well, the, and sy the system's not new, but the commentary on true. it is, like, honestly, I... It, it hasn't, my thought earlier was it had been done a lot, and it, it hasn't. It's just that it's been done very recently, mm -hmm. so it's in my head, you know. And gotcha. So the, but the commentary on that, on uh, Black Mirror's Nosedive, was pretty much the commentary that we saw here. Yeah. Um, the only real difference is uh, Black Mirror is not, uh, in, not remotely a comedy, you know, and 
here we had some funnier, lighter moments, and you know that kind of thing going on as well. Yeah, uh, but I thought I thought Seth handled it, handled it really quite well. Um, and my comparison with that episode of Doctor Who, like I said, the idea is not uh, really very similar. It's sort of similar, but it's more of the the feel of the episode. This gotcha. episode of the Orville, we got a lot more uh, brighter colors, especially after the Krill episode. That is um, true. There's a big con- there's a big contrast there. Yes, I, I, did, I actually missed that. Yeah. Um, and, and honestly, I even though. I mean, the the Krill episode was a dark episode. Yeah. Uh, I think this episode might have been darker. In in not not in um, what am I looking for? Not, a literal not, sense? Well, not in the the videography and stuff. No, but, no, but, no, uh, no. Or, uh, no, yeah, I, I think in some ways, yeah, yeah, that 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 could be argued. It's it might be scarier. Because yeah. we do deal with this sort of uh, system every day. We're dealing with it right now. It's true. It's actually very true. I didn't even think about it. We're just incredibly lucky oh, in that if we get 10 million dislikes, yeah. we're not going to be lobotomized. That, that is, that uh, hopefully. Actually, yeah. we'll probably laugh a little bit yeah. uh, after some crying. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it, it is weird because, I mean, like, it, I mean, honestly, both... You know, both the Black Mirror episode and this. I mean, it it is a serious issue, actually, or it can be. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, not as serious as it's, as it's portrayed in these two things, but yeah. uh, it, it's it's an interesting thought that I mean, like the the you know the internet. I mean, it is a place where everyone is judged and everyone has a voice to judge with. Mm-hmm. You know, and I mean, there there are some there are some good things about that, and there are some. You know, some potentially damaging things about that. It's true. You know, I mean, uh, we, we it, it, this isn't particularly that, but it, it kind of touches on the, uh, uh, in, in almost like the cyberbullying thing where you have people with no yeah. names and they're just, you know, uh, disliking for, for pure reasons of disliking, you know, and... Yeah, which, which definitely happens, you know, I mean... Yeah, I mean, we have yeah. some dislikes, that must be why. <laughs> right. I'm pretty um, sure that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's not because of us being wrong <clears throat> about anything ever. No, no, no. That would never happen. No, no. Um, like, we we definitely knew a week ago that that was the species Porg and, and not the that individual creature's name. Yep, yep. Anyways, um, but no, as far as the actual writing goes, I, I think... The humor was balanced incredibly well in this episode, which yep. is something that a lot of people, fans and critics alike, have been noticing about Seth MacFarlane's writing. I it never seemed to find that sweet spot of being humorous but able to be taken seriously. This episode, I I felt like he hit it. I, I think so, and you know, I think he's gotten really close, if not hit it, on some of the past episodes too. Because I mean, I mean, truthfully, what what he's attempting to do, and what we're asking him to do, or what we're expecting from him, I mean, it's a pretty high benchmark. You it know, is. It, it is not an easy thing to pull off. It's really not. Um, and honestly, I'm not certain that it's ever really been pulled off. No, and and truthfully, I you know, it's also one of those things that's very subjective. Mm-hmm. You know, like there's there there may there may be an episode or like even this one, I feel like he balanced it really well on this one. Uh, so right. do you? Doubtlessly, there are people out there that that disagree. You know, that that think it was just you know too humorous or too serious. Yeah. And you know, is every everyone's humor is different, so it, it's it's kind of tough. And that is completely fair. But but this one, it was. Where the jokes were made to me personally, and personally, personal opinion, and you know what they say about opinions, um, it felt like they were placed in an appropriate time, they got the right amount of laughs before they moved on to a more serious subject, it was, it, it all just seemed to fall into place with what was going on in the episode, and that, that, was actually really impressive. So, yeah, one thing I found weird about that, because speaking of the humor parts, um, mm-hmm. what, oh man, names uh, went right out of my head. Uh, the fellow that was in trouble, 
John. John, thank Lamar. you. Yeah, hard hard names like John. Wow. Um, Lieutenant Lamar. Oh my <laughs> gosh, if I got his last name wrong, I, yeah. Uh, no, I, I think I think you're no, right. No, 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 yeah, you're right. yeah, John Lamar. Um, but you know, when when he got initially in trouble, you know, doing the dance thing, yeah. it was funny. I thought it was funny. What I found interesting in there though is I don't remember. I might have to go back and look. While he's doing that, do you remember seeing anybody like horrified? I, I remember two people on the phone laughing. Yeah, and I, and I do too. And I, I think that actually might have been completely on purpose. Because there is a, a lot of things that when they first start to pick up uh, as far as becoming viral or whatever, it's like, gosh, look, look at this. This is so stupid. And then you have that one person. Uh, that, uh, what's the term now? And I hate this term, uh, that social justice warrior. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That term's coming up a lot with both the Orville and Star Trek Discovery. Hmm. Um, you have that one person who's like, oh my gosh, I am so offended because this is just so terrible. Yeah. And then suddenly everyone is on that bandwagon. Uh, Everybody has to be offended because this one person, and, and one person turns into three, and then that turns into 12, and then that turns into 100. Yep. Um, but this one person realized why it could be taken offensively, and so does everyone else now. I, I feel like the laughing when it first happened might have actually been on purpose. That's that's actually pretty fair. I didn't I did not I didn't consider that, but yeah, you could be, you could be right on that. And, and I think that this episode in particular might have had a lot of layers, kind of like that. Uh, you were talking about some of them like an earlier, onion or a parfait, or an ogre. <laughs> Ogres do have layers. They do. <laughs> yeah, I I think he, I mean he had some good points. I mean he really did. Yeah, you know, the he did. It, it it is one of those things like a true one hundred. I mean, and they describe this as uh, the the society as this is. It's basically a true one hundred percent democracy, and um, yeah, it, where everybody has has a direct vote on every given thing, mm -hmm. and uh, it it sounds wonderful. It does. It really does. It sounds amazing until you end up with something like this. You know, where you have a lot of people that don't have all of the information you know as to what's going on and they're just voting again to vote i mean they're not you, I mean, you watch these folks on here and they're not thinking they're just clicking you know dislike 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 and i thought that was actually kind of cool with uh, the the young lady that was part of that society at right, the end right. when yes. she chose not to vote you know i thought i thought i thought that was unique it was a it was a unique choice um it was also unique that they just had her not vote you know, as opposed to uh, to clicking on the the check button, it, it is yeah. it, it is because there there is a lot of push um, every election cycle. Everybody go vote, yeah, absolutely. And for anybody to say, hey, maybe it's okay not to vote because yeah. you don't completely understand what's going on. Um, it's a very interesting idea. Uh, I don't know if that's what Seth MacFarlane was trying to say with that last scene. That's a good idea. I don't um, know. I don't know. That's a good thought. But it's... It seemed like it. <laughs> it, it, it seemed did. like it. It, it did. Um, and I, I just I find that in incredibly interesting. Yeah. So, but anyways, guys, that was the... What was it? Is that the sixth ep? No, that was the seventh episode of The Orville. Yeah, seventh. It's good that we're moving on to seventh because neither yeah, of us no, can say right? sixth, six, six. That's fifth. right. Oh my gosh. Sixth. Uh, so yes. <laughs> wow. The seventh. I still can't do it. Seventh. We're on the seventh episode, folks. The seventh episode of the Orville, I feel like, was absolutely phenomenal. Um, I, I, I know you sort of didn't like that you had seen it somewhere else, but yeah. But you know, I mean, the, really, the more I've thought about it, I, it, it was more the time frame. I think because I, I didn't. I mean, the Black Mirror episode it was out not terribly long ago, but I watched it not long at all ago. Right. You know, so it was like fresh in my head, and I was like, "Wow, that's just rehashed." But you know, it's it's fair. You're going to rehash some stuff anyway. Oh yeah. And and again, like I said earlier, um, not on here. I think just to you, um, mm -hmm. but. Uh, 
it, I mean, it's a very relevant topic, you know. And it is. Yeah. So I, I think it's great. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I mean, Seth's like batting a thousand, man. It's, he's, uh, he's doing, he's doing really well. well. And y'all are doing incredibly well because you stuck with us for this long. Thank you all so much for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't already done it, hit the subscribe button. And we want to hear your thoughts on this, so please leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to join me at twitch.tv slash orcrogues every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. as I continue my journey through Tales of Berseria. Uh, once again, that is every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And also, every Monday afternoon at 2.30 p.m., I will be uh, wrecking people on Hearthstone and possibly getting wrecked because it happens quite a bit. My luck is not good on camera, man. I kid you not. Like, I... I I just, I, I, I do great off camera. And the second I flip that thing on, my drafts are horrible. My plays are, actually my plays are usually okay. No, it's, my, it's more of my draft than anything else. So. Yep. Derek's always full of excuses, but I you am. have no excuse to not support us on patreon.com slash orc rogues. We do all of this because we love it and we hope you love it with us. So go there. Anything helps out. Uh, also, Zazzle.com slash Orc Rose to find some awesome Orc gear. Ooh, ooh, one last thing. Yes. Wait. For our stuff on Twitch. You can join us on Twitch and watch us play some games and all that stuff, and that's pretty cool. But just to let you know, you know, the chat is live on Twitch. And it gives you an opportunity to come and chat with us about stuff that's not a game. You can come on and chat about the Orville. You can come on and chat about uh, anything that we've talked about on here. So, you know, that is a time for you to interact with us, which we would love. Yeah, you can come on and tell Derek that he looks stupid and needs to shave that unibrow. We still remember. We do remember. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much. And as always, until next time, we are Orc Robes. Robes.